Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of House Flipper 2. I am your host, Renovate. Guys, I did a massive, massive mistake. I recorded for approximately 2 hours and 20 minutes. The entire time, OBS was not recording audio. So, uh, I went to edit this video and uh, the AI in my program that cuts out all the the little in-between sections where there's no talking or no noise or anything like that that I usually use. Uh, when it came back and it showed that I only had eight minutes of video. <laughs> it's like, what the heck is going on here? This is a two hour and 20 minute video. And uh, sure enough, it didn't have any, it didn't have any, um, any voice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to voice over as much as I can with this and just give you a background of what's going on here. So, uh, in Discord, uh, if you guys aren't a part of Discord, uh, you need to be. So, uh, there's a link in the description. I'll put it down there. Um, join Discord. It's free. Um, if you don't know what Discord is, it's kind of a... It's just a way of being social with other gamers and and just people in general that are interested in the channel. Um, it doesn't cost anything. You can use it on your phone. It's it's pretty cool. It doesn't It doesn't... You know, it's not invasive or anything like that. It's not like Facebook or any of those social media things. It's basically just chat. I mean, it's uh, there's tabs that we have set up for different games. There's tabs for uh, people to submit pictures, as you've probably heard me suggest in other videos. And um, and there's tabs there for uh, uh, if you want to go live or if you want to share your videos or whatnot. But uh, one of the things that we do is I like to do challenges. So one of the challenges that we've been talking about for a while is uh, Link and I doing another challenge. If you guys didn't see the first one, uh, go back and look in some of our playlists. You'll see our first challenge that we did, and it was the A-Frame Home. Uh, but I we've been talking about doing another challenge where I'm not allowed to demolish any walls in the house. So... Uh, as you know, I like to go in and I just like to just de demolish everything that I see and make it my own thing. And uh, people joke about that. But <clears throat> I was like, all right, fine, let's do a challenge where I'm not allowed to do that. And so we came up with not only that, I can't touch doors, I can't touch windows. And somebody in uh, the Discord said you should use just primary colors. Now, I had said uh, a long time ago that I just wanted to do a house that would just be like an all yellow house or just an all just one color, right? Uh, but this this when when they mentioned that, I'm like, yeah, that's that's pretty cool because I've been wanting to do that. So let's make it that. So that's what we did. So we picked a house. Um, if you go and watch uh, Link's video today, he even talks about he wants to do the challenge, and he mentioned a couple houses. And this one is called um, I forget what this one's called now. It's the one that came out with the uh, uh, the last update not i shouldn't say last the one before the one that you guys just got so not the floor is lava but the one before that so um this house came out and um it was too small i had bought it and we were going to add on to the left side here probably right here where i was vacuuming i was going to build a whole addition to this side but that side of the house has that big gigantic friggin' tree in it and you can't sell the neighbor's tree and uh, it goes right through the house. So if I were to build anything there, you would see that tree inside of our house, which is kind of dumb. So uh, what we did was we just kept it. So I never sold it. So we just kept it because I knew I was going to eventually use it for something. But I just didn't know what. And so I told Link, let's just use, just use this house. And uh, so yeah, so this is what we're going. This is what we're doing. I ended up picking the color of yellow. So you'll see here pretty soon. I'm going to start doing some yellow stuff. Um, but I did have to go in and clean the house and I had to go through and get all the trash out, sell all the furniture. And that's something that I typically don't even worry about because I demolish everything anyway. So nothing that is ever left dirty. Uh, but I had to do that. So it's kind of fun. So it's been a while since I've actually, you know, completely cleaned the house. Uh, but you can see here we started on the front porch. And the front porch ends up being, uh, I went through a couple of designs. I was trying to get a lattice type work going on uh, around the front porch base here. And um, I went through a couple of different variations of this. I didn't know if I wanted to use like a, a trim board, like what you're seeing here. And then we did get this 
it's kind of like the herringbone type design for the tile, but I did notice that it was too light, so we changed the grout to black, so it kind of stands out. And I think that turned out to be a little bit better. It kind of looks like the old school Victorian homes and stuff that have the lattice work underneath the porches. And uh, I didn't really know how serious I wanted to go with the whole yellow theme, right? So uh, if you don't know primary colors, if you think of your ink cartridges for your printers, you got cyan, um, yellow, magenta, and uh, I guess the other one is white. So uh, it's called K, I guess. It means white. I don't know. That's what I was told. Uh, but uh, I I wanted to do a yellow house anyways. I'm like, well, this is good, so we'll just do yellow. So I did. I picked yellow. Now, as you know, the game has like a hundred different versions of yellow. I picked the brightest yellow I could get, right? And some materials show yellow differently in this game. So the wood always shows yellow darker. It just always does. So you got to either do like a glossy painted wood, or you just have to do something that's not wood at all. And so that's what we ended up doing. And then on the floor, we just did like regular planks. And you can kind of see how they're just a little bit darker than just a painted wood is. Uh, but one of the problems is you can't paint underneath the railings because the railings have like a little collision box on them. So you got to keep taking the railings off and putting the railings back on if you want to paint that. Um, the stairs had railing, but we did take the railing off the stairs uh, so that it would look a little bit better. And then, of course, I just did the ceiling in the same material as on the floor. And then we just left that white trim there around the porch, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, and then on the front of the porch, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do on this top part. But I did realize why, right about this time that I was doing this is that, yellow, or that white was a primary color that we could use. Now, I was going to use one color throughout this house. But <clears throat> when you do a house uh, in this game uh, using one color, it kind of mutes it almost. Like you don't really get the full effect of it. Uh, it looks good when you're playing the game, but I, when I watched it on my other screen, which is the one I'm recording on, uh, I could tell that it didn't look the same. So I didn't. I, I needed something to highlight some of the corners and give the house kind of like some edges, right? So otherwise it's just gonna look like a big piece of cheese. And so I just kept the white. I thought the white looked nice. And so I trimmed the deck in the white and then we left the porch kind of like the way it is. And I thought maybe that the front of the porch needed to be all yellow. So we, we, we painted the, the front of the porch all yellow. And then the more I looked at it, I'm like, yeah, it's just, it's something's off here. And I think what really threw it off was the the porch columns. They're just, I mean, they almost look like corn stalks. I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but they're dirty. Like, they don't look clean. It's not a bright yellow. And I found that to be something all through the house is that we ran into issues where colors just don't look like colors in this game. Uh, you can't just have a primary color. You're always trying to figure out, and, and, and this doesn't have to do with anything with this challenge when you guys uh those of you that got the console now you're gonna you're gonna find out a bunch of stuff uh, that we've been talking about like this game if you tell that you want to use like right here i'm using like a, a a a chrome color or a matte color and just because it's chrome or matte shouldn't change the color of the yellow it's just the sheen of the yellow but in this game, it's it totally change. You get two different colors. It doesn't make any sense to me. It honestly doesn't. Um, and you get this with everything in the game. Like nothing is the color that it says that is. When you pick a color, like right there, when I'm picking a color, nothing is that color. Like it isn't. It, it's it's very frustrating. So uh, so I just dealt with it. And then some things, like I said, we got we had to make glossy, and some things we just kept it the way it was. Um, right here, I thought that the shutters that the house originally had were pretty cool. So I wanted to do shutters too. And then I realized that right there, you could see that we just switched the yellows because the matte yellow was dark and the glossy yellow was bright, which makes no sense. Uh, so that's what we did there. Kept the <coughs> excuse me, kept the um, shutters on there. And then um, I wanted to see what the brick would look like. Now, I knew brick was going to be dark already because we've already went through this uh, a dozen times with brick. So 
when you pick a brick, it never looks like what the brick that you selected in the store ever. It never looks like that brick. So uh, there's nothing you can do about it. It's just the way that the game is. That kind of it's like a bait and switch. It's like, oh, here's the brick you can use, but you can't use that brick. Um, but I liked it. I mean, it is. I needed that. I needed that material change because it, the house was getting kind of stale, if it makes sense. And then. Of course, we did our, our soldier course like we usually do around our windows and doors when we do brick just to give it like a, a, a real look to it because that's what you would really see. And then uh, we started doing working on the sides and got most of the sides uh, completed. And one of the things I noticed was that um, the windows in the house actually were different windows as well. And one thing that you'll see later on in the video is, well, it might go by too fast, but the windows are in the wrong order. So uh, if you're looking at windows, case these are called casement windows because they crank out. Uh, what's funny is this house also has double hungs on the back. So it's got casements on the front and double hungs on the back. It makes no sense. But anyways, um, the, the cranks are usually in the middle. So when you have two casements together... Uh, the, the cranks or the part that you, your levers, I should say, not the cranks, but the levers are usually in the middle because the, the, they will swing out like French doors, but the windows in this game or in this, in this house, they're all in this, they're all pointing the same direction. So that's not what you would typically see. Uh, but that's just, that's just the architect of me trying to, um, let you guys know a lot. People ask me all the time is like, how, how close is this game to like real, like real house building or real you know, could you use this? And I'm, you, I, I'm not going to say you can't, you could, because I've, you've, you've seen me recreate my own designs in the game. Now they're not identical because we got the constraint with the thickness of the walls and stuff like that. But yes, you could design a house using this program. If you wanted to, if you wanted to play around and see how things work, you're not going to get, you're not going to get the structural element out of it because this game doesn't take into effect, you know, physics or anything like that. Uh, but you could, if you wanted to, to just play around with it, to design something you could. So maybe go get your house or whatever house you live in, take some dimensions and lay it out, put it on the game and see how close you guys get to it. And then you can kind of play around with that. Let's, let's say like, you know what? I always wanted to have like a, a breakfast nook or something off the back of my kitchen or something like that. <clears throat> you could put it in the game and do it, see what it looks like. Um, so yeah, it's cool. Uh, right here, I wanted to give a little bit more decoration in the front of the house because the front of the house was kind of bare. And I thought I'd put these little brackets on here and use some of the blocks that we haven't used typically in story mode. And then I just knocked the tips off of them because they stuck out too far. And then I had an issue here painting that one with the white. Like I tried a thousand times to paint it white, but it wouldn't let me. So I just made the brush thick and then it, it hit it pretty good. So we got these little pillars on the front here. And then it started getting dark, so I'm like, you know what? We probably should buy, buy a bed, and so that's what we end up doing here in a second. We buy a bed and put it down on the driveway, and we sleep through the night. So I forgot we had that perk, and that perk came in really handy. So uh, we continued here. I kind of liked when we were when I was doing this, seeing the contrast for the yellow and the dark, or I shouldn't say dark, but the grayish-blue color on the second floor. I actually thought that was like a, a nice combination. I know it looks weird, but it was actually a nice combination. I mean, it's uh, color wise, it, it blended well together, but that's not, that wasn't our focus. So we got some really nice yellow mustard colored siding. It's supposed to be primary color yellow, but once again, it's not. It's some other color because that's what the game does to us. And uh, we end up getting all the siding put up. We got a little place on the top that I almost couldn't reach. But uh, it, you know, I, I, my honest opinion about the house being all yellow, I'm not a big fan, but I liked the way that it turned out. It turned out clean. It's just very weird because you don't see, this isn't something that you would see, right? So we're doing something that's like totally out of the, out of the usual. Now you might see some houses like this. I know like in, um, there's places on the uh, down in Florida, and then there's some places out on the on the West Coast, like near I think it's at San Francisco. But you got Rainbow, Rainbow Row. <clears throat> they have one in Charleston as well, Charleston, South Carolina. That um, you see houses that are side by side by side, and they're all different colors. So you got like a blue house, a green house, a yellow house, a pink house. Uh, you know, they're like kind of pastel colors. 
and they look cool, but they're on the beach, right? And it's kind of like the beach thing to have your house kind of like a, a primary light color, but nothing like this. So yeah, um, but yeah, I gotta I gotta keep talking here because I can't edit a lot of this out because it's um, I've already already I've already edited it, <laughs> so it's just in. I just went ahead and put it in fast forward speed. Uh, just so we could get through get through it, so I didn't have to worry about it. But uh, we ended up getting the back of it here done. I had to shut the shutters in order to get the siding on because I couldn't get behind the si- behind the shutters. That's one cool thing about uh, in the game is you can shut the shutters. Now I don't know why you would need that mechanism in the game. It's not like a survival game or it's not like anything like that. But they gave us the opportunity to uh, shut shutters, which I, like whatever. And then we got to the back of the garage. There is a little corner that's on the the porch that meets the garage. And it's going to go by too quick. But I just couldn't understand why they designed the house like they did. It it doesn't make any sense to have the wall between the garage and the house. Other than the fact that the, the roof is not right. And then they were like, you know what? The roof isn't right. So we'll just put a wall here. And you don't... I don't know if I can... It's right there. It's that wall right there. That wall shouldn't be there. And I spent like five minutes talking about why it shouldn't be there. But it it's in there. So can't knock it out because then you got a weird break-in hole through your garage. And the roof is like on the side of it. And then we get to this point and it wouldn't let me put the, the column on the outside corner of the porch. There was nothing obstructing it. So I had to like overhang it. Just I had to take the snap off and overhang it. And then uh, that was basically the the rest of the back being done. I didn't put any railing on the stairs coming down, uh, but I did do the back porch the same as the front porch, so everything was kind of cohesive. And then we put some of that tile on the bottom of it, and uh, I think I put the wrong tile in there to begin with, and then I had to go back and get the right tile. So that's how we did the back porch, and that was pretty quick to do the back porch and then we ended up moving inside the inside uh was kind of difficult for me because visually i don't like monotone colors i know these aren't monotone but what i'm saying is they're it's uh well i guess it would be it's just all the same color and i that's that's part of the challenge it wasn't something that that i wanted you know the house to look like this is nothing like this isn't something that I would do in real life or even want to do in real life, but I had to make it look at least nice, right? We're not just going to make the house look ugly because, or else I could have just came in here and said yellow for everything. And then you would walk into the house and you'd be like, I can't freaking tell what room I'm in because I can't freaking tell <laughs> what I'm looking at. So I chose different types of wallpaper. We did just use the the yellow and the white everywhere, which I thought was worked out um some of the some of the uh designs were kind of crazy but they worked for the house because the house is crazy and then um i had to figure out which walls uh i wanted to have that were like the primary yellow color uh yellow the yellow that we picked is very bright it's very stark and it stands out and it's kind of hard excuse me it's kind of hard to look at after a while but We ended up painting the whole entire entryway yellow, and then we painted, um, you'll see here, we'll we'll end up painting the the other room beside it in the white. And then uh, right here, we went and started with the kitchen, but I wanted to get this one wall right here done because that's going to be an accent wall or basically the wall that most of our stuff is going to be aligned with. Uh, As far as the cabinets, I wanted something that had a flat surface and uh, because I knew that that flat surface would show the color brighter than the ones that have like the wood textures. But then I realized we could just do white cabinets and have a yellow, like a a yellow quartz top or something. And uh, one of the things I ran into right there was that the windows still had the window sill on it. I know we weren't supposed to touch the windows. I didn't touch the window. I took the window sill off so I could get the sink in. Uh, but for some reason, the cabinet doesn't like the overhang of the window sill, so it causes a collision issue. And then um, I ended up getting the front of the stove the right color, so I got yellow. 
but it wouldn't let me change that last black. You can see, like, if I try to change it to yellow, it doesn't doesn't work. It just keeps changing it to, like, a mustard color. So even though it says you can change it, you can't. Um, and so I just dealt with it. So we get the rest of the, the cabinets up. Um, one of the things I noticed about these Venamo cabinets is they don't have a corner one that has glass on the cabinets. So I don't know if they just forgot to put it on there. But that ends up being the only cabinet that doesn't have glass on it. And then I built our own little our own little range hood here for the vent, and that would um, turns out to be a totally different color in itself. Uh, that's the same color yellow. That's the same material. Uh, it just shows up a uh, different yellow. And then as far as what I wanted to do on the walls, I wanted a subway tile. I thought the white was too stark, and so I did white, but I put yellow grout on it, and it gave it a really cool effect. And that's what we ended up using for our kitchen. So it's a it's a white white um, uh, what do you call it subway tile, and then yellow grout, and then I just wanted to have a uh, an opening here that went into the kitchen. So I went ahead and, and copied the same wall that was on the right, and we put it on the left. And then I couldn't figure out whether I wanted to tile all the way across the top, which you typically wouldn't see. So I painted the walls, and then I came back in, and I just figured that's where it probably should end, somewhere around there. And then so that's how we had it there. And then I saw the uh, the vent, and I'm like, you know what? It'd be cool if the vent had like a racing stripe on it. So that's why you see a racing stripe there. So that's kind of cool. So that's our kitchen. And then I got some extra cabinets there. And then the refrigerator, same issue. Uh, you try to paint it yellow, and it's not the color that I wanted, but it is what it is. And then we got the cabinets over top. And then the room that we had in the back, which was kind of like a pantry storage room, uh, I was going to make that the utility room. But then I realized, you know, it'd be cool if we could take that room and maybe, possibly, make it into uh, like the breakfast eating area. So that's what we ended up doing. Uh, the one thing I did notice, though, is that the ceilings are, are not white. They're almost pink. And uh, you could you could really tell it once you started painting, like, the walls, the regular white. The ceiling just, like, popped out, and it was kind of annoying. So I had to go through and paint all the ceilings. We gave it kind of like that Venetian plaster texture to it, and that gave it uh, a nice little effect. And then as far as the flooring on the first floor... I just went ahead and went with white, and then we'll probably eventually have like a big yellow rug or something. Um, but one of the things I need for you guys to do for my next episode, because uh, the next episode, we're either going to live stream it or I'm going to record it, but, and it, it won't be for a couple days, just so you, so it gives you some guys some time. I need from you guys either pictures, um, or I guess it'd just be pictures. I need pictures of anything that's yellow. So it could be cars, it could be birds, it could be flowers, whatever. Put them in Discord. Just put them under Submit Your Pictures. Um, you could put it under the home, the, the House Flipper tab too if you wanted to. But submit your pictures of the yellow uh, or even put it uh, under Submit Your Challenge under House Flipper. That would give me an idea where it's at. And like I said, if you're not part of Discord, uh, it's free. Just join it, um, and then you don't even have to talk in it. It's just, even if you just want to read, uh, like I said, I'm on there all day long. It's right beside me as I work. It's on the other screen, so I'm always reading what people are talking about, and then I'll just jump in. And um, But I'll see your pictures, and then I will use them in the game because I don't have, I looked, I only had like three pictures that are uh, of yellow things, so I'm going to need some stuff to decorate this house. Um, so we went and did this breakfast area. Uh, the wallpaper I chose was a little bit bright and overbearing. So I figured we'd do like some wood paneling on the walls just to soften it. And so that's what we did here. I just boxed it out. And so that's going to be our little eating area. And then once again, I got to paint the ceilings because the, the ceilings were actually pink. Um, and then that whole first floor was done. And so I had to move up to the second floor. Second floor didn't take me very long um, because it only has... A uh, front small bedroom, a back small bedroom, and then uh, a little miniature bedroom in the middle. So the bedrooms aren't. This is enough. This is one of the reasons I want to take this house and try to make it bigger, is because the rooms are so tiny. Like this is this is the smallest. I, I don't think I even in real life would I see a house that's got bedrooms this size. But it is what it is. 
And um, I ended up taking this wallpaper that we put in the entryway that we ran up to the second floor. And I couldn't get it to like give me the wallpaper. It was so frustrating. And then I figured, you know what, we'll just make the backside of it the same as you're coming up the stairs. And then we'll just paint the bench. And then eventually we'll put like one of those little seats there. And then we'll put some plants or something in the window so everybody can see it. And then I wanted to do the end of the hallway with that same wallpaper. That way when you're standing at the top of the steps, it kind of blends in. You can't really see the transition there. Uh, I think the first room that we worked on was the front bedroom. So the door swings were the wrong and the room was painted that, that weird color. So I went ahead and painted the, uh, the two walls, the primary yellow color. And then on the side walls, you'll see here, we did kind of like a striped pattern on the walls, but I realized that the walls weren't painted either. So I had to get some white paint and paint the walls white. And then we went back with the uh, yellow paint and we got some stripes put down which I liked, I thought turned out pretty cool. I've done this in a couple of houses. Um, it's just a easy way to decorate. I mean, it's a cool and quick, simple way. And it gives, I mean, it gives some character to the room, which I like. And then we just uh, needed to finish the floor. And I just figured we'd just go ahead and use the white wood throughout there. And I think the next room was the bathroom. The bathroom was kind of weird because it's so small again. And uh, I think originally they had a tub in there and I ended up using a shower. As far as the tile, I just picked something random to put in there. I just, um, at first it looked really weird, but then you'll see we'll add a border to it and it kind of helps it out. And then we ended up bringing the tile down a little bit on the tops, but we did do tile around the edge of the walls. <clears throat> and then we did like a, a full yellow tile, uh, a full um, eight by eight piece tile as a perimeter. So we did the perimeter along the wall and then I end up doing a perimeter along the floor as well. I did mess up right there, but we ended up fixing it. It wasn't that big of a deal. And then uh, the shower, I originally thought that the bathroom was on the door side, but then I realized, no, the bathroom is on the other side. And so we had to flip the shower and then I had to get a toilet. Toilet was fun. I was, <laughs> was going to do like a pure yellow toilet and I'm like, that's going to clash against the tiles. So let's do a white toilet with a yellow lid and that should be good. And then we can get a sink and the sink's going to be like a marble top and then a yellow vessel. It's a beauty to the eyes. And um, then I went in and just went and finished. And then I realized, you know what? You can't get the tile because the toilet's got a collision on it. So I'm going to move the toilet and move that. And then I paint, painted the walls and then I screwed up right there. And I'm like, hey, that actually doesn't look too bad to go um, right there. So that's what we did. And then I just go back and touch it up. So it really didn't take me too long to do the bathroom at all. I thought it was going to take me a little bit longer because bathrooms usually take me a while to get done. But we got it done. And then I realized that the doors upstairs were not pure white doors. So we had to change all those. And then I realized <laughs> that when I changed the doors, <coughs> excuse me, and I clicked copy and paste, I changed all the door swings on all the doors and you'll see here, I have to go back and change all the door swings back. So that was kind of frustrating. Uh, the back bedroom, uh, I didn't, I had a hard time with this one because in most houses you have a bedroom that's bigger than the rest, like a master bedroom. Um, that's what they call it. I mean, people are starting to change the names of this because they want to be politically correct about how to call a bedroom. I mean, that's, that's so stupid. It's a master bedroom. It's There's nothing wrong with that. So anyways, um, this ends up being the biggest bedroom. So I wanted to make it somewhat nice and classy looking. So I got the uh, wood siding and did like a vertical wood siding. A lot of our houses that we've done on the channel, we've done like a, you know, a natural cedar look siding that goes up the wall. And then I wanted to pick a wallpaper that was kind of subtle, but this, after I put it up, was like, man, this looks like like a, a, a nightgown that grandma would wear. So I'm like, yeah, let's not do this. And so I had to paint the ceilings, and then I wanted to go with another wallpaper design. And so I wanted something that wasn't as old looking, I guess. And so we tried this one, which was a bamboo look, and I was trying to figure out if there's a way to make the pattern smaller, but you can't. So we just went with it. I mean, it is, it's not as ugly as the grandma's dress, but I mean, it's, it'll work for right now. I might change it when we come back and decorate the house. Um, right here, <clears throat> the game kept making me sleep. So I slept for like three straight days. 
which was kind of stupid. And then uh, the rest, uh, the other bedroom that we had there ended up being a, a utility room. And I was going to make it like a utility room and like a computer type room, but I just figured we'll just leave it as just a, a utility room. And you'll see here, we'll paint the walls. I'll get the washer and dryer in and all the cabinets. And uh, we end up doing a, like a little decorative wall. Now, all the ceilings in the second floor, I'll go back later and paint. Uh, I got I just didn't want to do it recording this, which I thought I was recording it, but apparently it wasn't. Uh, but I got to go back and repaint all the ceilings because all the ceilings are like a pink color. And we did a primary wall against the hallway, and then we ended up doing um, the washer and dryer. The washer and dryer turned out pretty cool because I could get a yellow washer and dryer, which was cool. And it was yellow, the yellow that I wanted, uh, which was nice. And then we just used the same cabinets that we used downstairs. It actually kept the, the format that I wanted. But then I realized I kind of like the wood tops in there. It kind of gave it – we don't have anything that's that's, col that's that color in the house. I might go back and change it. But I kind of like just having the wood there. I think that was kind of cool. And then we ended up putting a, another wallpaper design. Um, actually, no, I went downstairs and grabbed the brick is what I did. I grabbed the brick, and I'm like, oh, that looks kind of cool. And then I did the whole big wall, and I'm like, it kind of looks cool. But then it's so freaking dark. And so I just I painted I ended up painting it back over, and we left it yellow because it's just uh, it's a dark brick. It really is. And it kind of has a dirty, just a dirty, grungy color to it. But we can't, we don't have a painted brick in the game. So I sold everything. That was the end of it. And so if you liked it and you enjoyed this episode, even though I had to speed through it, make sure you click the like button and the subscribe button and uh, join Discord. I'm going to put a link to uh, Link's channel so you can see his game. And we don't know what each other is doing. So hopefully it's pretty cool. And yeah, guys, so thanks for watching. Like I said, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'll catch you in the next episode.